Although the term Dark Jedi was initially used to describe a Jedi who had turned to the dark side, it could also be used to describe a naive Force sensitive who had no Jedi training but started off working for the Dark Jedi. Others were only dark side users who did not adhere to the Sith's or other organisation's precepts. The Rabon and Shadow Troopers were two examples of artificial Force sensitives who fought for the evil side and were sometimes counted among the Dark Jedi. Zender, the first member of the Jedi Order to perish, was thought to be the first Dark Jedi. Ajunta Paul and other individuals who were driven from galactic public space following the Hundred Year Darkness were also forerunners of the Dark Jedi. In the end, the title became a catchphrase for Darksiders who could not be categorised as members of any one Darkside organisation. During the Great Sith War and the Jedi Civil War, in which fallen Jedi for Exa Kun and the duo of Darth Revan and Darth Malak respectively, the name Dark Jedi also came to be recognised. Thousands of years later, Sith Lords like Palpatine would revive the word, and his subordinates would use it. The Merluka Jarek subjects became known as the Seven Dark Jedi. Even though the first set of Dark Jedi were the forerunners of the Dark Lords in the old Sith Empire, despite the fact that both organisations used the dark side of the Force, they were not the same as the Sith. The term Sith relates to a certain ancestry or ideology, whereas the term Dark Jedi was used to refer to practitioners of the dark side who used the Force and the lightsaber, but were not always part of a particular organisation. While some Dark Jedi were alone, others were working with the Sith or other group of allies. Dark Jedi rarely formed well-organised groups on their own, to increase their following or increase their might because they were famously dangerous, unpredictable and deceitful. The Murluka Dark Jedi Jarek and his entourage of henchmen were the one prominent exception to this rule. Dark Jedi could also exploit their strength for their own benefit by working as assassins or mercenaries. The Sith, on the other hand, were an order that adhered to their code, researched their own abilities and tactics, studied their own history and had access to knowledge such as Sith alchemy and midichlorian manipulation. The order of the Sith Lords was also restricted to having only two members when the rule of two was created, a master and an apprentice. But the Dark Jedi had no organisation and no restrictions. Without really teaching them Sith tactics, Sixth frequently persuaded Dark Jedi to work for them. However, the majority of Dark Jedi were eager to assist the Sith and regarded it as a way to deepen the understanding of the Force. The lightsabers, like those of the Sith, typically featured red blades, however they were also known to have a wide range of hues. Dark side practitioners like Count Dooku believed that the might of the Sith was far greater than that of a Dark Jedi. Others, such as Darth Vader, trained in both Dark Jedi and Sith arts. Dooku claims that the Sith are fundamentally different from the Dark Jedi in that they were without fear. The first great schism which occurred in 24,500 BBY when numerous Jedi were found exploring the dark side of the Force, followed the establishment of the Jedi Order and the Divide started to form within its organisational structure. The master of Teres Kasi, Adin Lin and her followers of Palua from Budokukini joined forces and the Dark Jedi, Zender and his followers. In a pivotal battle, Zender was killed. Jedi master Arwista Pina used Morik Ro to stop Arden's heart, and Lin used Kashi Me talisman to kill Pina. The remainder of the rebels, known as the Legion of Leto, were vanished after the conflict. Crisis situations involving the Dark Jedi were rare over the following 17 millennia. One instance included Halbrat, a female Jedi Knight who led a group of Jedi Knights to battle potent Dark Jedi who had enslaved the Cathal species during the P.S. Dia era. However, a second conflict between the Jedi and Dark Jedi that lasted for over a century started at 7000 BBY. At the Battle of Corbos, the Dark Jedi were ultimately vanished and banished to the furthest regions of space. The Sith Cult, a new force organisation that would later plague the galaxy for millennia, was founded when these exiles finally touched down on the planet Korriban, enslaved the local Sith and eventually interbred with them. 
The followers of the Dark Side fled Republic space after their loss in the first Jedi Civil Wars, known as the Great Schisms, and established on the world of Zoist, where they ruled over savage red-skinned like Sith gods. Through the use of Sith alchemy, the Dark Jedi and the remarkably force-sensitive Sith locals eventually interred to become one cohesive people. The combined Sith created an incredibly wealthy and powerful empire, one that was perhaps inspired by the scattered remnants of the ancient, infinite empire of the Rakata, and built on technology powered by sorcery in the dark side. The exiled Dark Jedi were forgotten by the Galactic Republic over the years, even though the Sith had destroyed all of the Republic's records. The two societies coexisted in peace and ignorance together. Two additional Sith Lords, Nagasado and Ludukrash, fought for the title of Dark Lord after the death of renowned Sith Lord Marco Ragnos. The two Republic explorers discovered Korriban and the Sith Empire by accident. Upon arriving, they were imprisoned while the Sith Council deliberated. They were initially scheduled for execution, but Nagasado released them in secret and left behind proof of the Republic. The Sith allied with Sado and attacked the Republic, thinking that the escape was the result of the Republic efforts. On Coruscant, the Third Great Schism began in 4250 BBY. As a result of that conflict, the Dark Jedi were obliterated in the Vulture Cataclysm. In the Battle of the Sith, Exar Kun lured many Jedi and many of them turned dark. Many Dark Jedi persisted after Kun's passing and worked for subsequent Sith Lords like Darth Malak and Darth Nihilus. In the Battle of the Jedi, when Revan Malak entered the Mandalorian Wars, many Jedi joined them, and when the Jedi Civil War began, almost all of them turned into a Dark Jedi. Jedi who hadn't followed them were caught, corrupted by the evil side, and eventually became a Dark Jedi. During the New Sith War, and the fourth Great Schism, Umbran Jedi Master Fania switched the Dark Side in 2000 BBY. He became Darth Ruin after leaving the Jedi Order with 50 Jedi Knights. He ultimately founded a new Sith Empire, which sparked the new Sith Wars. Many Darksiders were regarded as Sith Lords during the time of Lord Skiri Khan, and until the Clone Wars, very few Dark Jedi were ever observed. Alia, a disgraced Jedi Knight, was exiled to Darthmir around 600 BBY, where she established the Witches of Darthmir. On Generis, a Dark Jedi fight involving Kib Jean, a fallen Padawan, took place in 188 BBY. Xantos, a Padawan of Jedi Master Qui Gon Jinn, went to the Dark Side and subsequently perished in a battle with his master. A creature by the name of Lycan eventually defected from the Jedi Order and became a Dark Jedi. Sardoth, his Atochi apprentice, was likewise exposed to the dark side of the Force by him. After the Star Cruiser crash in 32 BBY, he suffered a memory loss and embarked on a murderous rampage. He was finally located on the planet Molivar, where a retired mercenary named Daika Nil set up an ambush, killing him after Lycan had killed their family. Sardoth confronted Nil in Akista in 9 months ABY and vowed to claim his deceased master's sword. Sardoth was killed by Darth Vader, who interfered after detecting the presence of a Force user who was not supporting the Galactic Empire. A few years before, the Trade Federation's droid army assault Naboo, a faction of Dark Jedi terrorised Elrood region, where the Jedi Ambassador Joros Sebath and his strike team overcame the Darksiders. Their reign of terror came to an end. Following Darth Maul's apparent demise, Darth Sidious apprenticed Darth Tyrannus, who in turn apprenticed a number of Dark Jedi, including Sora Book and Asajj Ventress. He is also said to have mentored Quilon Vos, a former Jedi who became a Dark Jedi. The Bifash Dark Jedi Crisis started 27 months after the Battle of Genosis, according to a source. The Bifash system, as well as the whole Sluice system, was subject to wave of terror and devastation brought on by a gang of Bifashi Dark Jedi. Yoda and a task force 
of Jedi were dispatched to stop them and put an end to the uprising. Everything went bad for Dooku near the conclusion of the Clone Wars. After pretending to be dead, Ventress escaped to an unidentified place. During the siege of Sulamakami, Quillen killed Sora Book after the latter turned back to the light. Quillen also killed Tol Skor, another Dark Jedi, in the conflict. Dooku was assassinated by Anakin Skywalker on General Greaves' flagship, the Invisible Hand, a few weeks after the siege. Soon after, Skywalker turned into Darth Vader, Sidious' most recent protege, and the Sith regained control of the galaxy. This would result in the hiring of numerous other Dark Jedi. Sidious founded a variety of Dark Jedi-led groups during the reign of the Galactic Empire, including the Inquisitorius, the Emperor's Hands and his own Dark Side elite. Following the implementation of Order 66, Vader kidnapped a large number of Agricorps Padawans. Many Dark Side adepts, including Vader himself, instructed the younglings in the ways of the Dark Side. The Dark Side elite served Darth Sidious' right hand during Operation Shadow Hand since Sidious would not risk sharing a home with another trainee after losing three. Several Emperor's Hands, special assassins who carried out his orders, were also trained by Sidious. Mara Jade Skywalker, the daughter-in-law of Darth Vader, and Shira Bree, who would eventually turn into Vader's apprentice Lumia. Later, Mara was saved by her future husband, Luke Skywalker, and she attained the rank of Jedi Master. Following the Battle of Endor, Dark Jedi sometimes surfaced over the time. In the quest to locate and steal the power of the Valley of Jedi, a gang of Dark Jedi banded together under Jarek. Kyle Katan vanquished this group, also known as the Seven Dark Jedi, by providing them Kotois, weave armour and crystals from Artis Prime for the Empire Reborn campaign. Lord Hethrir Desani and Admiral Gaelic Fear produced an odd cross between Dark Jedi and Stormtroopers. The Shadow Troopers were given the name to these soldiers. Kyle Katan, a student of the Jedi, and Jans Oz, a partner, stopped the research and killed two of the three heads. In the year 14 ABY, when Desan's former pupil Tavion Axmis discovered the Scepter of Ragnos and founded the new Sith cult known as Disciples of Ragnos, Master Katan and his new disciples, Jaden Kor and Rosh Penin, rushed to the New Republic's aid. The cult was compromised of adherents and former reborn warriors of the Sun, and it also had ties with the Imperial Remnant. Kor and Katan destroyed the disciples of Tavion, and Rosh was saved after joining. Dolph, a young Jedi trained with the new Jedi Order for less than a year before returning home and seeing his parents' bodies killed by the Jahar regime, impaled in front of the royal palace. He changed into a Dark Jedi cooler and employed his abilities to overthrow Jahar's government. He then planned the Armorian uprising, but Jedi Master Luke Skywalker and his sister Leo Gana Solo managed to put a stop to it. Later, the Dark Jedi would join the Second Imperium. The Second Imperium attacked Luke Skywalker's Jedi Academy in Yavin 4, under the direction of a former Jedi by the name of Brachis. The Second Imperium was destroyed when Skywalker finally battled Brachis and ultimately murdered him when a Royal Guardsman detonated an explosive device after nearly being killed by him. Eric Ismaran was built into a cyborg Dark Jedi. Lord Nyax, Luke Skywalker, Mara Jade Skywalker and Tahir Avila eventually overcame Lord Nyax. There were very few Dark Jedi left after the Yuzahan Vong War and the Darkness Problem. The only obvious Dark Jedi during these crises were Welk, a student at the Shadow Academy and a Knight Sister, Lomi Plo. Both were hidden members of the One Sith but Luke Skywalker murdered them both during the Darkness Crisis. Alima Ra, a former Jedi who turned dark during the Darkness Crisis, is said to have perished in one of the conflict's final engagements. Alma was eventually discovered to be alive, but seriously injured, only to pass away at Jagged Fell's hands. The Dark Lady Lumilia, 
finally reappeared after these awful losses and deaths, but Luke Skywalker killed her because he thought she had slain his wife Mara. The phrase Dark Jedi was first used by Timothy Zane in his 1991 book Air of the Empire, since the term Sith wouldn't be adequately established for several more years. Zane needed another term to describe a Jedi who had turned to the dark side. He chose Dark Jedi, which he thought was descriptive but not particularly creative. Dark Jedi eventually began to refer to both evil force users who were never properly trained and fallen Jedi as the definition of the term grew looser over time. Hello there invaders, welcome to Star Wars Invader. I have a special appreciation for Dark Jedi as my favourite game Kotor had many in it and is my first introduction of the term playing that game. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Until the next time on Star Wars Invader.